What the? What is going on? Hope you guys are all having a great start to your Monday. I'm John O'Bowles, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick recap of the three times leverage ETFs that are just soaring today. So kicking it off, we're going to start with Gush. This was definitely the biggest mover today. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. As you can see, Gush absolutely killed today, up to $5.26, almost 32%. Uh, even with a triple leverage ETF, that's still wild to see. As you can see in the news, it's pretty clearly to see that a Saudi Arabia oil facility was attacked. Um, they're one of our main distributors of oil in North America. So with demand still being at all time high and their plant shutting down with this uh, attack, this puts the demand at all time high with supply at a lower rate. In regards to this, this caused oil prices to jump 10%, with Gush being a triple leveraged ETF, or ETN technically. You'll see uh, that's why we got about 30% of a return. And seeing from all the fires, you can just see how much damage this really did. Uh, I guess they're still trying to figure out what happened, but it's pretty gnarly stuff over there. We'll look at our next ETF, we're going to take a quick peek at UGAS. Uh, UGAS has always been a favorite of mine. It is the triple leverage for natural gas commodity. And it's pretty much guaranteed to go up every winter when uh, people need to heat their homes. So just taking a peek at the stock, you can see it's up to 23.68 over 7% on the day. And just open up the chart, you can just see how wild this climb has been recently. It was as low around uh, about a $12.50 mark, but it's jumped all the way up to $23 recently. Um, natural gas had a sell off way past its resistance last year, so there is a lot of room for um, in this sector, for sure. As you can see, the trend's pretty obvious. Right around this time, every time of year, the contracts for the winter come out. And with heating being a necessity for many people in North America, you can always see this boom. Looking back last year, you can see it started around the same time uh, anyways there and follows a similar pattern. Um, the nice thing with you guys is it does peak around uh, November, December. And when that comes, you can actually switch into the inverse ETF, uh, DGAS. So you can pretty much make twice the profits if you can time it right. And the final ETF we're taking a peek at is NUGT, or Nugget if you're looking for the slang term for it. Um, Nugget's also been killing it lately. It has had a recent dip lately with the uh, uncertainty of the economy recovering. But as you can see, it is at $30.30, up 7.41%, which is a massive climb. This is pretty much just in regards to the recession everyone's been fearing. Uh, recession fears have actually been an all-time high, uh, many banks have been stating here. So pretty much in easiest terms, uh, pretty much in easiest terms, uh, when a recession is about to occur, people have uh, doubtfulness and fear in the economy, such as the 2008 stock market recession. Um, you can see people lose millions upon millions of dollars in the market. So people push to items like commodities that they find are safer and more of a physical asset approach. As we can see from a technical analysis, there has been a support being built around 1490-ish uh, region here. Um, overall, I mean, you can see just the drastic climb that uh, the gold price has had in the past bit. Going from July to uh, about its peak about a month ago, you can see it's gone from about 1,200 to about 1,550, which is a massive jump. You, you haven't really seen this in years, so it's just uh, giving us an idea of how the fearfulness of an economy crash could be imminent and just how people are taking precaution ahead of time. Jumping over to Nugget and actually just looking at the stock price itself, you can see it's had this massive climb up going from $15 to $45. Just doing that in a percentage wise, doing over 200% in just a few months, just wild to kind of assume. So this uh, sell off does make a lot of sense. As you can see, its peak was there around $45. It did drop to about 28, just below 30. But if things play true, it has been looking to make a recovery. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, personally, I have a lot loaded up into Nugget right now once it hit about the $28 mark. So we'll uh, have to wait and see how it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, as always, be sure to like and subscribe for up-to-date content. Uh, let's do our research and uh, make some money in these shaky economy times. Uh, thanks. Have a great one.